in WhatsApp. This is Showtime. Showtime should finish over here. Size, growth, works. Get big. All right. So, post it on uh, Facebook today when it's day one or two of quarantine. And surprisingly, um, they're doing a lot better than I thought. It, uh, I thought it was going to be like hell, right? And so far it's been pretty fun. I've been enjoying the time off of work, right? Um, I'm usually just go, 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 you know, 24-7. Somehow it's, I've still been busy, but um, it's a good thing, right? Uh, but, you know, obviously, you know, staying, staying home, of course, except for, you know, errands and stuff, right? So, uh, my this eight-year-old snitch on me, he's going to give me trouble again. But um, this hideout's been where I've been at quite a bit. Um, during the quarantine, it's been working out pretty well. You know, I get I get interrupted every few minutes, but you know, at least I can take I gotta take a break. You know, every every few hours, sometimes a few minutes. This kind of depends, right? Sometimes I'm in here just like 10, 20 seconds, take a piss, right back out, right. And other times I kind of kind of get some work done in here, or whatever, right? Just kind of hide out. But uh, in the post, right, uh, that I put and I took it off. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There was a there's a buddy of mine who is one of his athletes uh, committed suicide, right? So I'd rather put it in a video. So uh, the quarantine thing happened when that day one or two kind of sounded like you know I was gonna go nuts. Okay, so what I did is I went out instead of losing my mind and I drove around, right, right before quarantine. So I freaking I drove around for a while. Okay, started feeling a little better. Pulled into the uh, Pulled into the up by the river, okay, and the bike path and stuff. Nobody there, of course. Nice and calm water and everything. They, cause anyone were not quarantined, there's usually not anybody down there. You know, cable bridge right there, blue bridge over here, right? And uh, down by the Clover Island, and I like to go over there, right? And so, uh, you know, I just meditated for a while. You know, it wasn't to jump off the bridge or anything like that, it was just to get my mind right, okay? I was not there to jump in the water to cool off. I just kind of was my initial plan, right? Because I was just to not go nuts, right? I was going to drive down the river, hop in the water, not from the bridge, of course, but just, you know, get, get you know, cool, cooled off, right? Because I was pissed off. I was, you know, I was raging a little bit. I felt like it was going to go out of my mind. Um, cause, you know, I don't know. A lot of people say, oh, it's going to be 15 days, right? But I'm thinking, well, everything, right? It's not a if, but a when thing, okay? Uh, a lot of people have been, you know, pampered their whole lives, right? And so, those usual ones run off and think it's the end of the world if they don't get a, you know, a 5,000 year supply of toilet paper. You know, it's a lot of weak people's mind and mentality. They, they think of the the non-life-threatening things first, right? Um, but uh, this this is still very important, obviously, you know, but, <clears throat> but uh, that's why... I like the rationed out thing right now, right? So it's not a first come first third serve, and two people get get a get the supplies, and then you know everybody else gets nothing. That's silly. So took that walk, the meditation, the whole nine yards, and uh, was feeling better yet, right? I put the meditation music, right? I had headphones, and uh, took a nice long walk along the water and everything, the bike path there and stuff. Come back, you know, and and. Uh, Went for another drive, okay, and uh, part that I was gonna put in the post, and I actually did, and then I then took the whole post down and just put uh, day one or two of quarantine. But um, the whole the whole point of the post was just to uh, you know to get people to to really think, you know, because the the guy that uh, you know it's really sad to see you know people you know, take themselves out, especially if they're good people and uh, really didn't have a need to do it. And, you know, you know how it is when, you know, maybe you don't, but um, sometimes if you're, you know, just really, really uh, not right in the mind or you're just really depressed or you're having a lot of bad uh, scenarios, right? So you don't want to jump off of a bridge, right? And I'm not talking about suicide prevention here, okay? Um... I'm talking about safety and, and security because if you jump off that dead gun bridge, right, there's a good chance you might survive. Okay, and now you've defeated your purpose. If I thought that was the worst case scenario, because you know, die or don't die, right? I'd want you to live, right? Um, 
and then you, of course you could die and that's that's even worse but um, if you survive that's good but the problem is so most of the most of the time what happens is a lot of people they survive long long enough to drown right because when you hit that fucking water right it's gonna be more than just you know uh, taking your breath away it's gonna be more than getting the new wind knocked out of you okay you're gonna be beaten broken you're gonna have broken bones probably at least the ribs right maybe maybe a dislocated shoulder broken shoulder it's like the, the people who have survived a lot of times it's like hitting cement it's fucking bad right and you'll be a lot of pain okay one guy one guy broke all kinds of things at least his ribs and then a bunch of other a bunch of other stuff too he was really suffering and he almost drowned, but they got him out, and uh, he did really, really well there for a while later. And then I think, I think he eventually passed away, but I think it was something else. But at least he got a lot more years, right? But uh, but a lot of people will do what he did, and then they can't move. They drowned, okay? That's horrible. It's a horrible way to go, you guys. So, number one, don't commit suicide, okay? Number two, if you do, make sure, you know, it's the quickest, most humane way possible. There's no way I'm going to give you any examples right now because, you know, maybe by the time you research everything, maybe you've changed your mind, okay? I'm not going to aid in anybody's suicide here. What I'm going to do is try to to help aid you uh, to change your mind, okay? And if I can't change your mind, I at least want to make sure that you suffer the least amount as possible. Fair enough. I don't want to see anybody get, you know, hurt, hurt. And uh, I don't want to see any more suicides either. If you're thinking about it, at least talk to somebody first, okay? Let me give you, you know, at least give me a chance to change your mind one time, okay? Um, preferably with a health, mental health professional, right? Because they're probably going to be able to do the best at helping you, okay? Um, and if you're not going to go that route, then, you know, at least, you know, sit down with somebody who's going to be, you know, somebody that you can trust, uh, whether it be in a, you know, you uh, your best friend, uh, family member, uh, uh, an adult, you know, if you're if you're a kid, you definitely want to talk to an adult that you can trust or a mental health professional. Um, and that's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's all I can, can really say from here. I can't really do anything else to, to stop you, you know, if I can see I'm not talking to you one person or I'll already be on it trying to help you. So... Um, anyways, that's just my two cents. And some of you guys think, oh man, why did that person talk to you? Sometimes it's one of those things where, and it just sounds really weird, okay? But there's sometimes where people are like, off and on, kind of not quite, you know, happy or whatever, and, and something happens, and they just, it's almost like on a, yeah, instantaneous, they decide it, and it's just on a whim, it's like impulsive. Uh, those people, uh, that do it that way, it's not, uh, it's not your fault, okay? There's nothing you could have done, you know, unless that person just tells you last minute and then, you know, impulsively tells you last minute when they were going to impulsively do it, okay? And you're help them from there. Otherwise, it's out of your hands, man. You can't help it. It's not your fault. You know, if you see signs, you know, do everything you can. If there are no signs, even if it's been in this person's mind for a long period of time, don't beat yourself up about it, you know? Because sometimes there are no signs. And sometimes there are... And uh, if you think that that might be a sign, you're not sure, talk to the person and research and let them know, if, hey, if you need anybody to talk to, I'm right here. You know, but there's only so much you can do for my ear end, right? Um, I can tell you right here, right here, right now, if I were to ever, and don't worry, I'm not planning nothing, okay, so don't, don't even sweat it. But if I were to do something, you know, it ain't nobody's fault but mine, okay? Now, there were people who, um, who do it for a reason that's, it's not uh, that it is somebody else's fault. They're the reason for the pain. I'm not saying a breakup or whatever else. You can't blame yourself for that. Um, but, you know, just somebody that was abused or, you know, beaten bad. Or, you know, just a uh, really, really badly mistreated type of thing. Well, yeah, that is your fault, you know, if you, you know, uh, abuse somebody. But uh, but if not, then, you know, don't, uh, don't, don't blame yourself because usually it's not anybody's fault. It's just... It is what it is, and it's tragic and it's sad, but, you know, don't, uh, again, don't beat yourself up over, uh, over something that you couldn't control, okay? And if you are in a position where you feel like you can help, do it, you know, and that's all I can say. So, take care and God bless. Size, growth, washed. Get big.